Welcome to ABC 12's Newsmaker. Now, your host, Kathy Shepard. Joining us, uh, when Newsmaker returns, we're going to switch gears a bit. We're going to tell you how just the click of your mouse can actually help thousands in need. We'll be back right after this. Switching gears now, the Pepsi Refresh Project is giving away millions to fund great ideas. People, businesses, and nonprofits from all over the country have been applying for grants for projects they believe will help have a positive impact. Pepsi says, look around your community, think about how you want to change it. And one of the organizations that already received a Pepsi Refresh grant is the Detroit Area Diaper Bank. It's a nonprofit corporation that exists to meet the diaper needs that individuals and families have who are in crisis. Believe it or not, no federal assistance programs pay or for or provide these diapers, not WIC, not food stamps, and Medicare only for hospice. So where do people turn to organizations like the Detroit Area Diaper Bank? And joining us now by Skype to talk about the bank and the Pepsi Refresh Grant and the, what it's received, Mary Beth Levine. Mary Beth, thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Can you, first of all, can you tell us about the diaper bank? Uh, how does it work? How many people does it help? Sure. Well, we launched just in April 2009, and our goal is to actually support nonprofits that are already working with uh, families and individuals in crisis. Um, they are a huge need across the board, and it's something nonprofits and state agencies don't even have access to. So we've helped thousands and tens of thousands of people because we reach out through these other established organizations. What we focus on is um, raising awareness and funds and diapers and getting them to those who are working on the front lines with uh, our neighbors in need. And what does it help to take to help that many people? What does it take? <laughs> um, it's a constant, constant need. And we do everything from babies through adults. So any size diaper. Um, and, uh, I mean, it doesn't end. There's always babies. There are always people who get sick. There are people with disabilities that need diapers their whole lives. Uh, seniors, it's a huge issue among seniors on fixed incomes who can't already, uh, you know, afford their rent and their medications, much less the cost of adult diapers, which is a crushing cost. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming that's where the Pepsi grant mm -hmm. comes in. So how much money were you awarded and how does, how does the grant work actually for you? Yeah, the Pepsi grant was fantastic. We were in the first, very first round of, uh, of the grant contest and, and recipients last February. And, um, we were in the $5,000 category. There's four categories. They give out 10 grants at the $5,000, $25,000, and $50,000 level, and then only two at the $250,000 level. And clearly at the larger levels, it's very competitive. And I think it's gotten even more competitive as the year has gone on. And um, so at the $5,000 level, since we're a, a small, me, <laughs> organization, <laughs> and uh, – and kind of grassroots, that made sense for us to go after the $5,000 grant. But it's really just leveraging your social media. You know, we leveraged our partners. Um, but at, in the end, we ended up in the top 10, and we got a $5,000 grant, which was our first sizable grant. And it was fantastic. It, it made a huge difference. I was able to leverage that into over 26, I think, thousand diapers that we distributed last spring. And uh, it, was, it was phenomenal because I was able to give partners what they need. Um, I get a lot of diaper donations, which is fantastic, but sometimes uh, the, my partners need more size fours or size fives. And so having finances lets me go and get those sizes that they need the most. And what, what made you actually apply, think about applying for it in the first place? Was it easy and difficult? Yeah, honestly, I, I, yeah, I think I came across it uh, like on Twitter <laughs> and, uh, and it was just launching and it was an online form and, you know, time is, is an issue for small nonprofits like, like mine. And, um, and being able to do an online application uh, that gets in quickly was useful. And then, you know, it being a situation where we could then just uh, engage our supporters to help us, it was unique. It, I, I think it's a very unique program. I think Pepsi has come up with a great idea that certainly it's a it's a brand marketing thing for them, but it, it gives small organizations and, and even people, you don't have to be a nonprofit, people who just have an idea to do something in the neighborhood can apply. You don't have to be a 501c3. In our case, we were, and it was a huge, huge help for us. So what do you say to people who are thinking, they're listening to you right now and thinking of submitting their <laughs> idea? Uh, well, I say it's definitely worth uh, applying for it. I, I, I think the, the competition is, is, is pretty fierce. So I guess my, my main guidance would be to um, be realistic about the size grant you're going to go for because if you're going to go for the 50 and $250,000 grant, you need to be 
very networked and had a lot of uh, supporters because um, there are some, a lot of large organizations working at that level. So, but the 5,000 and 25,000, um, you might have a, a better chance. But I mean, if you look at the past funded opportunities, they're all across the board from, you know, helping uh, uh, military families to pets, to, you know, animal uh, issues, to homeless, to uh, things like ours, um, Erica, outreaches. I'm going to have yeah. to stop you there because we've run out of time. But I want to thank you so much for joining us. And I want to wish you good luck. Now, there are plenty of other Pepsi Refresh projects waiting for grants in Michigan. They need your help. Just log on to our website, abc12.com. Find the link to the Pepsi Refresh website there. You can read about your vote and your favorite projects and vying for Pepsi funds. That's all the time we have for Newsmaker. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend.